Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you love my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Okay, that vessel is still warm. I can keep my hands on it, but so it's not hot. But I've had a look in it. I've already tested it. It's 12 pH. But, um, yeah, the sludge down the bottom looks funny. The different to what I'm normally used to seeing. But that's no indication of anything. That's just me being pedantic. I say these things. Um, I can't tell if it's yellow or not. Um, we'll test it. But I'll put gloves on because better safe than sorry. Um, last time I looked at it, these and. I thought it was clear and then it came out yellow so yeah now I didn't get I put six liters of demineralized water in it plus um, the little bit of ash lie in it but I've only got that much water in it and half of that is ash sludge so it lost a lot of water, but there was still that far down from the bottom top of it. I was going to put another, I was going to put eight litres of fluid in it, but I was worried about how much I could actually get store, like how much I was going to make. I think I've only got enough to fill the two big mason jars up. I don't even know if I've got enough to fill the, the smaller mason jar. So I think I'll fill one mason, the two big mason jar. I'll have both big mason jars filled and the little mason jar. I don't think I'll, I'll go anywhere near having all those. I, I think I'll just get the three done and then that'll be it. But anyway, it is what it is and that's... That'll be it for this season. Now, I was thinking, from that chemical supply place down in Sydney, I can get potassium hydroxide, which is the chemical you are extracting from ash. I did look it up, and it was... I think it was $30 for a kilo of it. I might buy a, buy a kilo of it and just make up a kilo with two litres of demineralised water just to see what happens, just as an experiment. Strong purple. Purple's good. That's 12. 12 pH. Straight up. So, that's how you make 12 pH ash light. Um, I'll put that over there. Um, I think this is going to be yellow. It looks yellow, but it has been, has deceived me before. The big heap of crust that was formed over the top is charcoal it rises up and there is almost no charcoal there's a bit on the outside on the edges I can't see any charcoal now I scooped all the charcoal I could off the top and discarded it I'm hoping I got rid of all the charcoal out of this as much as I could and I'm going to pour it off and sieve it, strain it through a cheesecloth. Hopefully, there'll be no black sludge or charcoal when it goes through this. So I'm just going to leave this cool down overnight and then strain it off tomorrow. And it'll be strained off tomorrow and then bottled. And then that'll be it. That'll be my ash light. I will buy 
a good little bit there. Um, I will buy a kilo of, I think it's potassium hydroxide. I've got it. I'll look it up online. <laughs> it's just the, the uh, um, talc powder they put inside gloves. Um, I'll look it up online, but I'm pretty sure it's potassium hydroxide that you're extracting. Then I'll look up the chemical place, but I'm pretty sure that was the, the chemical. Because the chemical he they were selling, they say is for making lye soap. And it's 90% pure. And it'd be interesting to see what pH. I'm not trying to make a more higher pH thing. I just want to make a, a good 12 strong pH. A, a consistent pH with no charcoal residue. That's what I'm trying to make. Mine still has a little bit of residue of charcoal in it. If I can eliminate the residue of charcoal... So I don't have any sludge in the bottom, black sludge or any of that sort of rubbish. I think I'll make a superior product. That's all I'm trying to do. And while it's hideously expensive to buy, a one or 40 buck buy and then make it might be good. Might work out real well for me. But I won't be doing it, uh, even if I do do it once and get a good good batch out of it, I won't be doing it consistently. Like, I won't do it all the time. It'll just be a one-off experiment just to see what it is and see how it turns out. Um, yeah, so I just wanted to um, update this and show you the um, pH testing. I did a test before and... That one just confirmed it. It is showing 12 because the purple is 12. I've never been able to get into this. Like, it, it's purple. It's not this dark brown with 13 or 14. I wouldn't want to make a 13 or 14 anyway. I just don't need to store that sort of alkaline solution here in the house. Um, this, this stuff's dangerous. This 12 is pretty dangerous anyway. I had, I did drip some on my skin. It didn't burn or anything. I didn't get any lesions or anything. Um, yeah, I did drip some on me this, um, yesterday. No, that was this morning. When I took out the, um, that punk, white punk fungus, I dripped two drips on it. But I was very quick to get it under water. Um, and wash it off me. So, yeah, I didn't leave it on for long. It was only two drips. So, yeah. But I had gloves on and everything. And it was just a, um, it was just a little accident. So, accidents happen. So, you just have to um, just be careful with this stuff. So, yeah. But, yeah, thankfully, yeah, nothing happened. But, yeah, anyway, that's all it. I um, didn't produce as much as I thought I was going to, but that's all good. Um, I probably could have put another two litres of water in it. It didn't, because it's such a big vessel, it had an aggressive boil, but the smaller vessel is more aggressive. It was really rolling over. This one was still having a rolling boil but wasn't as aggressive as the smaller one so yeah and i did do it for the full hour um but it took a, took half an hour to come up to boil so it was probably boiling or it was in the process of boiling for a, yeah a good hour and a half in the process of and i didn't I probably didn't check it for 15 minutes. So it could have been, it actually could have been 
nearly two hours on the burner before I turned it off. So it may have been boiling for hour 15 or so. But as soon as I turned the, turned the gas on, it almost instantaneously started, I could hear the bubbles. Because those gas burners are pretty, pretty switchy. Like It's like a switch going on and off as far as the boiling process goes. But I have found the ash acts as a thermal layer. So it, it sets, settles to the bottom straight away. Like you pour all your water in, settles to the bottom straight away. Even though I stir it up before I turn the gas on. I stir it all up, turn the gas on, but it settles fairly quickly. And that acts as a thermal layer for the heat. So it's got to get through that first before it starts boiling. And I put the lid on to speed the process up. So yeah, but these are all the things I've learned as I've gone along. Um, yeah, there's a there's a there's a lot of there's a. It's not a steep learning curve, but there are a lot of nuances to this, and um, you just have to play it by ear and roll with the punches with it. Um, it's fun. This 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 is good fun. I'm really enjoying it. Um, yeah, I might. Um, I haven't. I haven't looked into doing the um soap but next season i might do some soap just for um yeah shits and giggles um because the only thing is to get the beef tallow and i looked up buying beef tallow is uh, hideously expensive um forty dollars oh no you got to buy like Basically, you've got to buy a half a side of beef and then they'll throw the tallow in for free sort of thing, <laughs> you know, like, and, which is, um, yeah, but you can buy it, but, uh, yeah, like, like I said, it's, it's, not, it's not a cheap option, so I don't buy my meat in those sort of quantities. Like, to buy half a beast is quite expensive, you know, yeah, you're looking at, a lot of money and while my missus makes a good living I don't work I like, that's as simple as that so yeah I'm a stay at home dad but um, my missus makes a good living but um, yeah we don't we can't just throw money around like nothing so yeah but anyway yeah fun but um Wanted to update this, um, as I said, last batch for the season, as far as my batch goes, I probably will make one more, but that'll be in a couple of weeks' time. Um, yeah, I'll order the stuff, and um, it'll only be a small batch. Be two litres of water, uh, two litres of soft water, and a kilo of ash. But a kilo of ash, ash is very light, so I might even only buy 500 grams. I just don't want to spend a lot of money on it, and yeah, I'll just make a little batch up, just to see, just to see what it's like, um, and do some punk wood in it, and see what happens. Or I might satisfy Jason's whim, and um, maybe do some um, ball rush fluff, I don't know yet, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that is the results of my season's ash lie um batch yeah 12 ph good stuff anyway thanks for watching